Hello guys, this is Reese from Bomberito St. Peter's Volkswagen in St. Louis. Today I'm bringing you a 2022 Volkswagen Tiguan SE front wheel drive. This particular one is pure white on the exterior with Titan black leatherette on the interior. It features LED headlights, LED running lights, keyless entry, also a panoramic sunroof with a power sunshade, the dark anthracite alloy wheels, that nice bow line down the side, a little bit of flare on the front quarter panel there. Chrome window sills, chrome roof rails, faux exhaust tips at the back. They're molded in black with the bumper there right below the reflector. This particular one has a bumper dillo right there. It says Tiguan right below the Volkswagen logo there. There's a look at the silver roof rails at the top. And this nice bow line that goes out of the top of the taillights, down the door handles, and into that flare right there on the front. Let's take a look inside. As we open it up here, you'll see this interior inset stitch right here. The arm pad right here with contrast stitching as well right here. One touch up, one touch down on your windows. A power lift gate button right here. Heated mirrors and power mirrors right here. The heated mirror icon is this little guy back at the back. You just turn it all the way to the back to get there. And then you make sure you turn that back off because it doesn't have a shut off. Your door locking mechanisms here and this carbon fiber type finish right here across the dash or the uh, door that goes into the dash over there and into the door on the other side and there's a look at that inset over there we'll pan around you can see the seats here manual headrest right there Con contrast stitching there and then also the back of the seats here and down the bolster and then over here on the side as well that's there's that contrast stitch it's a power seat with a power lumbar right here your forward and back and up and down here and seat back adjust right here and as we look through here there's a look at your seats there. Two rows of seats are up. The third row is folded down. There's a look up at that giant panoramic sunroof right there. We'll look at that some more as we climb in here. So here's a look around. There's a look at your vents there to go across to the other side. Lots of visibility out the front here. This one here does have automatic headlights right here. A coin box for storage down below. There's your automatic headlights, your power lift gate right there. Now it's important to note, being a front wheel drive unit, I can open this hatch from here in the driver's seat with the car running. I cannot close it from here though. That's a quirk of a, a front wheel drive Volkswagen Tiguan. Not sure why that is, but that's how it works. There is a telescoping steering wheel here. So if you need to close that from the back, from the back you're gonna have to push the button at the back to close it. Um, the telescoping steering wheel just lift up the uh, lift up the pull out push in raise or lower lift up to lock it back is what i'm trying to say there and then you also have uh the silver spokes here on the steering wheel here with a splash of piano black here your volkswagen logo in the middle right there uh you do have three screens for the digital cockpit here this is uh the this is a non-configurable uh cockpit digital cockpit here there's three main settings that is your tachometer there is your blended screen and then there is your speedometer screen and this little blue line here will actually go up to whatever speed you're at to show you your speed temperature gauge is off to the side here fuel gauge is off to that side there and then you have other items that show up in the tray down below um, this one does have uh, um, the uh, iq drive so it does have this little button here that you push on the side to bring up your assistance systems there's your lane assist uh, and I'll hit this button here to turn on adaptive cruise control and then I can arrow down and there's side assist or a traffic alert front assist I have all of those items right there um, I also have an AM FM and satellite radio gesture control in that I'm able to do wave my hand across there and get that to go pretty cool that it does that and just as as I try to do that on camera yeah it doesn't do it again um i did get it to do it a couple times there but it's am fm and satellite you do also have app connect which allows you to do android auto apple carplay or mirror link on a system uh those are all wireless too so you can do that with your phone in your purse or in your pocket it doesn't have to be connected with a cord if you decide you do want to do it old school and keep the cord two USB C connections right there uh and then a 12 volt charger port right here the climate control is capacitive touch so for me to lower the temperature here, I just tap here or I can slide my finger across to lower the temperature here or slide it up to go higher. Um, and then also my fan speed, I can adjust here by sliding my finger across there. 
It takes a little getting used to, but once you get used to it, you'll love it. It's just something different. There's no knobs now. Um, and then here's your vent settings here. I can adjust here, and then they also pop up on the screen here. Heated seats. Both driver and passenger have those. They start out on high, then medium, then low, then off on either side. And your max defrost button is here. Your sync button is here as well. And the menu button, if I touch that, I can bring it up on the touch screen. Yay, more fingerprints. So if I like fingerprints, I can do it all up here on the screen. I can tap here to get lower temperatures, tap the red to go warmer, turn on the sink, turn off the sink, and then I have my separate settings there. Pretty cool. Uh, back to the screen here. It's Again, it's got the app connect. It's wireless. Um, with the backup camera, if I shift this in the reverse, I do have trajectory steering. So I turn the wheel left. I turn the wheel right. The yellow, the yellow line moves accordingly. The red line signifies where my bumper is. The green line signifies straight back. I do also have over here in the glove box, plenty of storage right here. Manual's not in here. It's actually probably in a goodie bag in the back still. But there's your tire warranty. This will have a more um, a manual with it. I promise you. A little bit of storage up here. This bin right here, and then up above, this one has the auto dimming home link mirror. It's a three door garage door memory. The digital compass right there. This big fat wide, big fat and wide housing here tells you that you have a lane assist camera up there. So this one has the lane assist, all of that stuff housed up there. Um, you do have a vanity mirror with a light above on each side just like that and there's a look again at that uh, door inset panel right there um, down here here's a look at your cup holders and a little storage bin right here just like Tiguan and Taos I'm sorry a Jetta and Taos this is a Tiguan and then you have this storage bin right here now these seats are upholstered a little different they go this way now with the stitching instead of across still a stupid comfortable comfortable seat Adjustable headrest there as well. The buttons off to the side here. Adjustable uh, seat belt clips right there. Now the passenger seat is manual on this car. So this button lever here you lift up on and scoot forward. Over here on the side, here's a button you pump up to raise the seat, pump down to lower. And then this guy back here, you pull up on to adjust the pitch of the seat back. Lots of storage right there. Uh, you do also have storage over here as well for bottles and cups. Let's take a look at the back. Now this one here comes in at 33020. The extras are gonna be the panoramic sunroof for 1200 bucks, the auto dimming mirror for 345, monster mats for 325, and a bumper dillo on the back bumper for 160 bucks, bringing you to that 33020. As we open this up here, here's a look at those seats. These seats do recline as well. You just pull this lever right here and it adjusts the seat back here. It also is what you will use to fold the seat down and then you just push to click into place. You pull the same strap to release it and back up. But while I've got this down, well, I'll show you this way. There's a lever here to pitch the seat forward to get to that third row. You just cup the seat and push forward. There's your third row seat there. I've got mats sitting on top of it here, but you can see, if I can get that to go up there. There's your seat there. It does sit low to the floor. You're only gonna get a small child back here. You're not gonna get an, an adult back here. Um, it's not designed for that. It's basically a jump seat. So there's the other seat there and the headrests are adjustable there. And here's a look at the back of the seat. There's still reinforced steel plate in the back of these to prevent anything from the rear cargo area penetrating the seat and injuring a uh, passenger in the seat. Top tether hookups on both of these seats here and as well that third seat over there. And then this seat does slide back. There's a bar underneath to lift up and slide the seat forward and back. Fold down armrest in the middle, squishy yet firm right there. I'll climb in here. Now right here, magazine pocket on each side. And these seats are 60-40 split. You can see that seat's a little bit further forward than this one. I've got about four inches of knee space behind this seat. There's a look up to the front. The instrument cluster right there, center console, and a look up at the giant panoramic sunroof. We're about to get uh, walloped with snow. We're sp supposed to get over a foot of snow now, which is pretty uncommon for Missouri, but it's coming. So the storm clouds are kind of gathering and it's 50 degrees today and it won't be out of over 20 tomorrow. So we're getting ready. Slide the seat back. The upholster pattern is the same back here. There's your, your car seat hookups there. And also over here on this side, here's that fold down armrest, squishy yet firm. This is also a pass through, push the button right there and the seat folds down just like that. 
steel reinforced plate on that. There's a look at the back seat again. Now let's go around to the back. Oh, first off, vents right here. You do have these vents for your rear passengers. A USB-C connection here and a 12 volt charger port right here. Tiny little storage bin here. Maybe you can put a chapstick or something in there. There's a look through to the front again. And perspective from the back seat, panoramic sunroof over my head, just like that. Let's take a look at the back hatch. There's a look at the dark anthracite alloy wheels, LED tails here and turn signals, and right between the G and the U, we'll open this up here, and I'm gonna fold this seat back down. Well, actually, I wanna show you this here. There's a look through from the back to the front. It's pretty snug, depending on where that seat is, but remember, this seat is like a jump seat. It's not a seat that you're gonna use on a regular basis, and when you go to pull this seat up, you're gonna pull this strap right here, that's fed through right there, not the strap at the top, that just unsnaps. Pull on the strap right here to pull the seat up, and you may need to move that seat to make the adjustment for this seat to have the clearance to pull up. Here's a look at your monster match right here. Cargo blocks here, this one has wheel locks as well. Put those down in the well there. Also over here, it has uh, the adapter for the USB from the USB-C to the regular USB. And then, here is a look. Well, there's your manual there in the goodie bag, as I suspected. And then beneath the floor right here, there's your spare tire. Seat pulls to pull the seats forward right here. Just pull the seat pitches forward, and you just push down the click. Same with this side over here. If I pull that, push down the click into place. Power lift gate on here. There's a trunk light right here. And there is also a trunk light over here. A bag hook hidden over here on this side and there's an optional cargo cover that you can get to cover the uh, third row folded down and then there's also a seat belt clip right here for cargo on either side just like that super nice and there's a cup holders back here in the back area as well and a little storage tray right there too just push the button right here to close that there's a look at the bumper dillo again right there this car will come with a four-year, 50,000-mile bumper-to-bumper warranty on it from Volkswagen. That's four years, 50,000 miles, and includes two years of free maintenance. Your 10 and 20,000-mile oil change are covered by Volkswagen. Also, if you buy from me at Bomberito St. Peter's, I'm going to give you a third year of free maintenance as well. That's a local deal only, though. So if you buy from me and you live in the St. Louis area, we're going to give you that third year of free maintenance. Also, if you buy from me, I'm going to give you a 10-year, 200,000-mile nationwide engine and powertrain warranty free of charge. 10 years, 200,000 miles nationwide, engine and powertrain warranty. You can fly in and drive out. So if you're interested in this car, give me a call. 636-290-4257. 636-290-4257. I'm on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter at Reese Sells Cars. Thanks a lot, guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, have a great day.